Why don't we use Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR, to track flying targets? Let's break it down. SAR is like a flying camera for radars. It creates high-resolution images of the ground by combining radar data over time as the aircraft moves. But here's the catch. SAR assumes the target is not moving, at least not much. Perfect for mapping cities, vehicles, or enemy bases. Not great when you're chasing a fighter jet pulling 9 Gs. Airborne targets move fast and unpredictably. SAR needs time to process and build its image. By the time it finishes, the target has already moved. Instead, fighter jets rely on pulse Doppler or AESA radars. These can track fast-moving objects in real time, even while scanning wide areas. Some modern radars, like the APG-81 and the F-35, can switch between modes, but not at the same time. Bottom line, SAR is a sniper camera for the ground, not a heat-seeking eye for the sky.